So I decided that I would do a pick a card reading on what it is that the universe wants you to know right now. Um, if you wanted to find out if there's a message that the universe might have for you in all of this, um, what I've done is I've got the five different piles of cards here, each represented by a different piece of jewellery, just to be able to give you something to have a look at and see if something stands out to you and if it actually resonates. And then from that, you can select your pile of cards. We've got card number one represented by the heart, card number two, or card pile number two represented by the little watch and the angel wings, card number three represented by the tree of life, card number four represented by mother of pearl and silver, and card number five represented by pewter and by a rose. And so if you want to meditate for a little minute on which card pile is speaking to you or which symbol, which piece of jewellery is calling out to you at the moment, just have a little think about it. Don't necessarily choose it based on the piece of jewellery that you like the most, but by the pile that's actually calling out to you. So number one, the heart. Number two, time with the angel wings. Number three, tree of life. Number four, mother of pearl and silver. And number five, pewter and the rose. We'll see if the universe has something to say for group number one with the heart. Or what the, well, the universe always has something to say. We'll see what the universe has to say. Okay, so what's been going on in your life? Group number one in the recent past. We've got our tarot cards here. We've got a message from the angels. Now, angel cards, a moonology card, and a romance angels card because everybody likes to know a little bit about what's going on for them romantically. I think everyone wants to know if there's love in the air or what's going on with their love if they're committed if they're not. Here we've got someone who has been working very hard for what they have. Someone who I think looking at this group number one you're possibly quite settled and you've been working hard and have achieved quite a lot and know where you're at financially. Um, it looks as though you are sort of comfortable with where you're sitting and you're, you're feeling as though you know where you're at. You've um, possibly made some secure investments. Maybe you own your own home or are paying your own home off and doing so comfortably. It could be that you don't really want for money, not necessarily that you're rich or um, yeah, not that you're rich or rolling in dough, but that you're comfortable that you're able to pay your bills comfortably. You know where your next meal is coming from. You may have some sound investments. You may have possibly an investment property. Um, even if you're renting, it's likely that you're affording your bills comfortably and doing okay for yourself. But this card over here, this gentleman, the Four of Cups, is showing that there's been some discontent in the past and that even though things have been quite comfortable, there's the feeling that you're not really paying attention to the gifts that the universe is offering. You're focused on these things here, the cups being water and emotions. You're focused on the things that are missing from these cups. There's some, they're, they're empty and maybe you're feeling a bit stuck in something, feeling a bit as though even though you do have these comforts, there might be something missing emotionally from your life. And because of that, you're failing to see some of the gifts that the universe is actually bringing into your life right now, or maybe read in the, the recent past that they have been bringing in. And this here, the full, shows that 
there is a leap of faith and a, a sense of innocence and a bit of a sense of risk taking, <clears throat> wanting to shake things up and just do things a little bit differently and take a bit of a risk. But as you can see, he's not looking down. He's not paying attention to what's below him. He's just looking up to the skies and all of the possibility that's ahead. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's possible that maybe you have been working really hard for the things you have in life has been quite comfortable and it's been quite secure and quite solid, but you've been feeling a little bit stifled, maybe a little bit, maybe as though you're not able to enjoy these things that have been happening over here and that comfortability. And so you've been wanting something new, wanting maybe a bit of a new adventure, a bit of a risk. The angels card here, truth and integrity is telling me that you're looking or have been looking for truth and integrity in your life and potentially you're a person who carries yourself with a lot of truth and integrity as well. This tells me that this leap of faith, you've been wanting to do something that remains true to yourself, something that maybe is a bit of a spiritual path and is leading to what your truth and your integrity is. The moon card is saying that a personal issue reaches resolution. So this is potentially some stuff that's been coming up for you over the last year. Maybe you have taken a leap of faith and maybe that has actually been the thing that the this discontentment that you've been feeling potentially here and maybe the inability to see some of the things that you do have to be grateful for and that the universe has been providing to you some of those gifts. Possibly you have found your way to be able to enjoy the things that you do have again. And here with this romance card for those of you in group number one who may have been asking about love, we've got romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So potentially there's been a new love that's come into some of your lives Maybe there's been someone new that has come in or potentially it could it be a love that you already have, a marriage or relationship, but you're starting to feel some more romantic feelings again. Sometimes this card can refer to feelings that are being reawakened, but this does tend to be more of a new love. So group one, I'm wondering if maybe you have been working hard for what you have possibly independent, comfortable, feeling a bit bored, feeling a little bit discontent and wondering what there could be on the horizon to shake things up and possibly new love has come into your life recently and that could be you taking the leap here a little bit with the, the new love, your feelings are worth, are real and worth exploring. So the fool leaping into love looking all happy and excited with the sun shining, everything's exciting and fresh and new. But the angels here might be also reminding you to remember your own truth and integrity. And possibly these are things that you've been working through in the past that you are starting now to be able to clarify for yourself a personal issue reaches, reaches of resolution. So this might be something that group number one you've been working on over this past year, a new relationship, a shake up of your life and the things that you've grown comfortable with. And now we'll look at the cards that we've got for what's happening in the present. So we've got the star, we've got the five of wands, we have the emperor, Our angel card, spiritual growth, our moon card, a time to give rather than take. Now our relationship card is chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Hmm. Well, if there is a new love on the scene for you, any of you people in group number one, well then certainly this is a promising card with um the chemistry card coming up.
interesting so I'm seeing here obviously with the romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring if you have met someone and you have been doing that you might be feeling that there is a strong magnetic attraction to this person and it does seem that this person is worth someone getting to know and taking a bit of a leap for and the new moon in Virgo saying it's a time to give rather than to take so presently at this point in time these cards could be asking you to give of yourself to someone that you are having a romantic connection with potentially you've come across someone that you feel is a soulmate I'm thinking it is more it's not so much just a friend though this seems it's definitely romantic romantic feelings chemistry I want to say potentially this is a connection that you have with a friend or a family member but it's certainly not it really seems like for number one I'm wondering if you have had some new love come in and potentially this also could refer in terms of if there isn't any love necessarily going on in your life at the moment and that's not even maybe what you're looking for this could also refer to just finding a new passion being a bit bored and tired of you know you've worked hard you've got these things but you've grown comfortable maybe you've grown a bit content and then a bit discontent and so it could be about actually taking a leap to find a new passion to be able to find something that you want to do with yourself and this could be a time to give rather than take that could be to a personal relationship or it could very much also be to to just giving yourself that thing that you need to give that fires up your passion that makes you feel inspired and excited and just makes you want to jump up out of bed every morning looking like you want to be leaping off and jumping into something new because you're passionate you're excited these cards over here the stars are very very good card that's come up it's basically almost like wishes can come true cards so it's saying very much presently at this point in time group number one that the things that you are taking this leap for here having this card the sun coming up under it is saying that if you do take a leap of faith that risk at this point is very likely to very likely to pay off it's a very positive card but there seems to be this internal conflict with you now at the moment as well there's a lot of creativity and a lot of fire going on a lot of wanting to change maybe that's because you're locked up at home like everybody else and you're giving thought to what's going on maybe you're still actually working really hard maybe you're working harder than you have been at any stage in your life at this point there's lots of people that are doing that too at this point and this could be even the conflict and the war within yourself i've heard lots of people talking about wanting to be able to slow down and enjoy what i've been referring to as the better homes and gardens apocalypse lots of people locked in and doing better homes and garden sorts of things but teachers childcare workers retail workers truck drivers um plenty of different people um, I can't even name all of the different fields obviously doctors and nurses paramedics probably um yeah giant giant number of people in the community that were often referred to as the low skilled or um and very much oftentimes low paid jobs are now working harder than ever so there's been a lot of people feeling a lot of conflict about not being able to actually just relax and enjoy this time to have a bit of a lockdown but also being grateful for still having their jobs and having that finance so that could even be a war that you're having in amongst yourself at the moment is it time to go ahead and take that leap and take that risk and especially as we're now being quarantined away from each other or self-isolating and social distancing away from one another new relationships that are starting more difficult at this time more than ever so it can be very hard to be able to actually experience those romantic feelings and that chemistry with someone if you're actually not able to go over to their house or spend that time with them at the moment we still are able to do that via our um, restrictions but I imagine that just even having that would be an extra difficulty that isn't something that I've had to experience in the dating world before so 
that's something too. I think this wanting to take a leap in the recent past, there's a bit of a confliction going on within yourself potentially at this point. Maybe people in group number one, there's a lot of passion, a lot of just what looks to be a lot of chaos and a lot of people fighting ones is fire and represents creativity, passion, sex, intuition. As you can see, it's a bit hectic and it seems as though there is a lot going on within you. But this one here, the Emperor, is asking you to look within yourself for your own guidance. The wise and old man with all of his wisdom sitting there on his throne of knowledge. This card is asking you to do what you already know that you need to do and that you already know that you can do on a, a deeper intellectual level from the point of view of your higher consciousness and that's to take a breath to harness this creativity and to be able to look within because this is very much going to be a time of spiritual growth for you whether the relationship stuff is something that's resonating with you and there is a new relationship or a reawakening of a relationship a romantic relationship already in your life or whether it is referring to a passion or kickstarting something within yourself there is a lot of spiritual growth going on for you group one at this point in time and oftentimes this discontent and this feeling of not being able to see what's around you and not being able to see the blessings that can lead to this sort of shake up that can happen within you this kind of conflict that you're feeling that just reawakens and restores you back into action to be able to want to take the leap be able to do something new and then getting a bit of reassurance here from the universe that if you do shake things up that this spiritual growth is leading to more it's leading to good things and that the things that you're working for and have been working towards aren't fruitless and that there's a lot of truth and integrity within you and within the spiritual growth that you're experiencing at this time so now we'll move on to what the cards have to say for what's coming for you in the future if you were to continue moving along this path that's laid out here and to continue to work on harnessing this creativity on focusing and believing in the universe believing that there are good things coming taking some time to be able to step back and contemplate and just think about the gifts that the universe is bringing and we have the eight of wands lots and lots of movement in this card the eight of cups oh the world card very good. This is actually a very powerful reading, group number one. We've got quite a few major arcana cards here. The Fool, the Star, the Emperor, the World. These cards are all representative of very large changes in your life. Things that are going on on a much higher level. The sort of these cards here the day-to-day -day cards but these cards here the major arcana these cards are the cards that are representative of the big shifts in our life your higher consciousness in the universe has lots of messages for you at this point we have support support from the angels interesting moon card a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. Interesting. In true love, this is the romance of a lifetime. So group number one, if you are 
in a new relationship and this is something that yeah if you've just met someone or you have been with someone for maybe just in the, the recent sort of past you've been with them for a little while now but basically a, a new relationship a new love if that was anything that you were questioning about or had any questions about for the universe these cards here are definitely saying romantic feelings chemistry true love this is the romance of a lifetime so that's very easy to see if group number one if you're adding love questions about someone that you've possibly recently met or have been with for maybe only just a little while i think the angels are telling you that this is definitely the person for you and that if that's the person that you took the chance on took that leap for that you've not done the wrong thing follow your heart this is the love that potentially you have been waiting for so that's some pretty happy news if you're group number one if you've been having a love query i feel those three just stand alone and speak for themselves and a new romantic cycle begins on top of that again i believe that that is not a new romantic cycle so much as in meeting someone new right now being the card that's down here in the future i feel that this is representative of potentially a strengthening love as i just said in terms of with the world and its current state all of these extra regulations um just things that we took for granted before just as such as going over to see our partner who lives in another house um going to meet them somewhere for a date all of these things are things that now suddenly aren't allowed and had always been taken for granted before so it's going to put a lot of pressure onto a lot of relationships and i think that that will potentially tear a lot of people apart but i think that that will also bring about potentially for people who are ready for it and who are focusing on being very mindful and very conscious and very kind and compassionate at the moment that i think it can bring around about a lot of really good things for communication and a strengthening of relationships and i think that this card here a new romantic cycle begins this will be referring to a strengthening of any new relationships that are taking off at this point in time the angels are very much saying that they are definitely here in your supported group one uh -huh. this card comes up when you're supported not only by the, your angels as we all are but very much to let you know that your elders have come to the party and as you can see it's very very significant i feel for this point in time this is representative of all of your ancestors and just looking at them the hands over the earth the way that they're healing it what is happening now is very much meant to be when this card comes up that is very much a sign from the angels that your elders are watching over you and that what is happening in your life now you're protected you're loved you're you're safe you're supported and so if you have taken this risk over here to shake some things up the angels are saying that they support you in this you're experiencing a huge amount of spiritual growth and they want you to take notice of that they want you to pay attention to the things that you're feeling now to the signs to the synchronicity that you may be experiencing and especially here next to this world card so over here we'll jump back a bit there's still a lot of movement that's coming into your future a lot of confidence a lot of learning a lot of this conflict that's going on over here will be by looking at your inner wisdom if you are to look within yourself to meditate to focus to just harness that energy within which we have the opportunity to do at the moment that's one of the things that i guess has been a blessing for the world in some respects is that finally it has slowed down just enough for and again not for everybody but for a lot of people things have slowed down significantly and that means that we do have some time to face ourselves and to give some thought to the things that haven't been working in our lives and these inner conflicts that we experience on a daily basis and if you notice this card very much the wands are all over the place 
it's hectic, it's chaotic. Whereas here all of the wands are moving swif swiftly and together that energy has been harnessed. And this is showing creativity, movement, swiftness, things will start going again. So if you've been group one, if you're worried about what is currently happening at this time in our life and all of the things that have been brought to a halt, this card is saying that there will be accelerated growth. Things will start to pick up again. If you can harness this energy right now, if you can harness the gifts that the universe is giving you and recognize those gifts, possibly even keep taking those risks. Be a bit willing to be open to change. Don't worry. Know that you are protected and that you are safe because the universe is supporting you, your elders, your ancestors. They're supporting you through this huge time of spiritual growth and finding the truth and the integrity within and amongst yourself. This card here Eight of Cups, again Cups being emotions. It's a bit of a dark time. It's showing that there will be difficult times ahead. It's not all peachy keen and roses because life unfortunately isn't like that as we all know. And you can see that this man has his back to the Cups that are there. The moon's out, it's the night time. He's contemplative at the time of him needing to rest and regroup and think about what he's got, but to also know that he is strong enough to transform and to grow in these challenges. I'm just reading my keywords that I have here that you would have likely already noticed on the cards as I'm still learning my tarot. And so every now and again, it is helpful to have these keywords to just take a little look at. But it's time for yep, time to feel it and let it go very much. This whole slowing down of things over here. Just my as my daughter's been putting it once the last drawer in our house is organized and the last pot plant in our garden is potted up during this time that we're stuck at home, then that's when we're gonna have to just stop and feel all of our feelings. And I think very much this is what's happening. The confliction, the wanting to possibly see where all of that energy goes if it has also been a time of working hard to get to a certain point and then just suddenly stopping but taking that time to look within. There will be a period of just having to let some things go, a period of having to let go of grudges, maybe let go of the past, maybe that needs to be done in order to be able to let this new love in. Because it will be a lot of time potentially that we will be spending on our own and just self-reflecting, so this could be a time just of letting go and harnessing this energy and knowing that new things are, are happening, new things are coming and that there are new opportunities and keeping your eyes open to them and then going back to the world card. This is a fantastic card because it speaks of timeless state of grace. All is well, serendipity, success, permission to be who you want to be and do what you want to do and remembering that everything is the will of the divine. That all things in life are circular and that what goes up must come down and then of course must go back up again and that everything that's happening now is happening for a reason and that it is all happening in divine timing and that if you can remember to keep your eye on these gifts that the universe is trying to give you whether it is the love cards over here and a new romance, whether it is actually a new passion, whether it's something that you've been wanting to do, whether it's just self-reflection, but in your life, I think group number one, it's saying that everything is very much happening for a reason and trust in that and trust in some of the risks that you've been wanting to take as well. 
it's the universe is supporting you in that so whatever that risk might be learning something new meeting someone new or falling for someone new the universe is telling you to go for it this is a really really positive reading group number one so i hope that maybe some of you have taken something from that there might have been some things that resonate i'm not too sure hopefully you have now we'll get ready to move on to group number two okay so we have card pile number two this was the one with the time and the angel wings so people that have chosen card pile two let's see what the cards have to say for you what does the universe want you to know right now so we have the knight of swords We have Six of Swords. And we have the Queen of Wands. Interesting. This group two, it seems like you've been through the wars a little bit of late, I think. Um, there's a lot of mental energy going along, uh, going on in this reading here and in these cards there's been a lot of action i sense that you've been very very busy um <clears throat> i think that there has been a lot of change maybe in your life recently if not in a physical realm maybe in a mental sort of sense there's been a, a feeling of a lot of new ideas and as though there needs to be some swift action taken but maybe you've been looking a bit toward the past as well this night he's moving in a, a reverse motion he's sort of looking back toward the past he's not charging off into the future he's possibly you've possibly been being challenged a bit here in the past and finding communication possibly with a loved one challenging let's pull the rest of these cards and see what else is here angel card is serenity and your moon card conclusions are within reach hmm number two it seems like you guys maybe have been going through a period of a lot of growth in the recent past Oops, love card got to say Ah, interesting. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay, yeah, group two. I think that you've been having some internal struggles. I think, unlike group one that seemed to refer to being comfortable financially in the physical realm, I think and possibly think going through some discontent i personally think we've all been going through some discontent in different ways but for you group two i see that you've been having some conflict and struggling maybe going backwards with communications with people whether that's maybe been at work or that could be with loved ones maybe with family it could be in a relationship and it looks as though you've been pouring a lot of energy into trying to make yourself heard um feeling like maybe you're going backwards in communications with people this card here again shows sort of the need that you've felt to protect yourself or maybe to step up and protect those that you love um you can see this man is watching over the back of his partner and child and he's trying to row them to calmer waters you can see all of the swords he's got a lot to carry it's all in front of him it's almost like his head is full of thoughts and he knows that he needs to try and move out of this phase try and move out of this 
kind of hectic unbridled kind of time of there's lots of new ideas but there's also lots of fears going on with this card there's a lot happening in your head group number two <coughs> oh excuse me i've got a bit of an awful cough myself at the moment um yes there's a lot of ideas and a lot of conflict going on in your mind a lot of possibly struggle with communication and this is sort of a need here to be able to maybe just take some time out and get away from it all and this is possibly where the serenity card is coming in the angels have been telling you that you need to take a bit of time out need to still your mind and need to be able to find some peace and that's somewhat what the queen of wands here represents she's calm she's with she's wisdom personified she's sitting here calmly in her throne flowers blooming she knows that she can bring to fruition what she needs to but she knows that she needs to do that by focusing her energy and her creativity and her wisdom and maybe you know group two maybe that's something that you've been dealing with and you've been working through and you know that this is possible if you do focus and harness your energy i'm just looking at what my keywords are here as well yeah the queen this queen's time to be in a supporting role taking a bit of a, a step back and showing some restraint and not taking over so okay this is now making a little bit more sense to me as well with those extra notes so there might be a case of just wanting to rush in here and take control and again as i said maybe that's been a, a work situation or potentially that has been in your love life there's been a clash of communications and a feeling that there needs to be some action taken that you need to do something maybe you need to protect yourself and maybe you've realized the conclusion that is within reach that you've realized at this time is that it is to take a bit of a step back and take a supporting role and maybe there's been a lot that you've needed to release maybe this has been a sense that this is a struggle that has been with someone that's been quite close to you because there's been a need to forgive and release and maybe this maybe this struggle is actually even not to do with anybody externally not to do with a work situation or with a romantic partner or a family member or friend it could actually be that there has been a difficulty that you've been having in communicating with yourself and actually being able to hear your own thoughts in amongst what's going on in your external world there's a need for serenity there's been a need to take a step back maybe just to be able to forgive yourself and cut yourself some slack and to learn from this time but coming up in the past the conclusions are within reach so i'm wondering if you've found your way to this conclusion yet group two or if that's possibly what you'll be working through now at this present time but this seems like yeah, there's been a, a, a time of a lot of internal conflict a lot of struggle with ideas a lot of difficulty in communicating and a need to be able to step back and to be able to support with some restraint let's see what is coming up for your present cards so we have two of pentacles we have the page of cups we have the six of pentacles angel card is music your moon card is your commitment is being tested and your romance card interesting release your ex <clears throat> the time has come to clear your energy this is so interesting right after this card here as you release and heal your past you experience more love in your present moments and here release your ex your time has come to clear the time has come to clear your energy and particularly with the conclusions are within reach so 
yeah group two there is very much something going on here that you need to let go of that's very apparent to me there's been a conflict that you've been having and maybe you are struggling with releasing someone from your past whether it is your ex romantically whether it's a, a toxic friendship that is maybe no longer serving you um, maybe it's feelings that you've been struggling with within your own self that is time to release them but right now this card here is showing that you're you're juggling quite a lot being pentacles this is coins to the earthly realm so maybe at this point in time um, especially now with everything that's happening um, more people are trying to juggle more things than ever before and so on a, an earthly level you've got a lot going on at the moment as well as whatever is going on in your head it appears that you're trying to be able to juggle everything that you're needing to juggle but you're needing to also wait patiently for the situation to resolve itself and to sort itself out so whatever is happening up here this conflict and this difficulty in communication this feeling of the need to rush in sort of dive in to get things done but also to be able to move away from it and protect yourself that needs to be balanced very much these two needs over here need to be balanced in this present moment and you need to do that by taking a step back by finding your inner calm and your inner serenity and being able to just let whatever will be will be and it looks like again here commitment is being tested so particularly it, it could potentially be your commitment to being able to forgive it could be your commitment to a current relationship that's actually being hindered by the inability to be able to forgive and to learn and by the inability to be able to release your ex but definitely group number two your cards are telling me at this point that you need to really release something and just let it go and that you need to be able to do that even though it is going to test your commitment it's going to feel really difficult or maybe what you need to let go of is causing you to struggle with the commitment that you are having now it's testing the, the commitment that you currently have but this is telling me it's time to let go and it's telling me it's time to let go in such a way that you just entirely release things you release it to the universe you release it to your elders or your angels the music card when this pops up in an angel card reading it is exactly as it's saying it's asking you to take some time out to listen to music even play music if you're um, so inclined to sing to play an instrument if not if you're like me and you can do neither thing at all um, even just listening to music just letting yourself go music such an amazing healer um, I don't think I know anyone who who doesn't listen to music and enjoy listening to music especially when they're feeling as though they're stressed or sad or down or, or happy it's music for everything but this is asking you at this point to listen to music and to be able to let things go and I feel that this one is saying that you are in a position to be able to be generous and that actually being supportive of others in your life at this point in time giving of yourself with what you have and all it's pentacles so it does refer to money this can also mean just giving of your time giving of your skills giving of your knowledge again very relevant for this point in time as well as we're all stuck at home and trying to figure out new ways of doing things but as you can see this man he essentially has the power here there are people that are in need of what he has and he's giving it to them but not in a judgmental way not in a way that he is standing over them he's got his scales and he's balancing things out he's giving to these people in a measured fashion so I think with this card here in the take a supporting role you're being asked to to let go and to be able to be open at this point in time particularly with the page of cups as well this is again be supportive be loyal 
You need to look out for you so that you don't get taken for granted. But you need to see that there's a blessing in this as well. Cups is emotions and that fish in the cup is showing that you do have a blessing. This page is here to remind you that you already have what you need in your emotions and in your heart. It's all there in your cup. But again, you need to be supportive and be loyal, which if the Queen's asking you to take a bit of a, a, a backwards, not a backwards, sorry, a, 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 um, a supporting role, just take a bit of a step back and show some restraint and support from the sidelines. And with your commitment being tested, maybe you are struggling with sticking with a work situation, maybe you're struggling with a partner, maybe you're finding it difficult to be able to, maybe you guys have been having some conflict and it's been hard to juggle all of this and you do feel like you do just need to protect yourself. And this is telling me that there isn't anything to be fearful in what's happening to you at the moment, but you'd need to just take it easy. Center yourself, listen to some music, try and find some serenity in order to be able to help you to be able to get through this time. Your commitment is being tested, so you might be struggling a bit at the moment. But just taking a deep breath and a step back so that you can start releasing whatever it is that you're holding on to. We'll have a look at what these future cards have to say. The Queen of Pentacles. The Devil. Strength. Yeah, really interesting. And the Angel card is Focus. Your Moon card, A Time for Healing. Ah, beautiful. And the love card, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Okay, so group two, yeah, I think that there's a lot of stuff that you need to let go of. And if you can let go of it, if you can take a bit of a, a backward step and release some of this stuff, maybe you guys... Uh, in a relationship or in a job or something as I've said that isn't working and you've been wanting to call something in that is whether it's calling in a new relationship um, <coughs> <coughs> whether it's actually calling in a higher love within the relationship that you're in or calling in a new job calling in a better working situation um, it's basically calling in something better you've been feeling conflicted not so much stuck I don't think I think group one there was a bit of a sense of maybe being a bit of a bit stuck and needing to have a bit of a reset whereas I think group two you've been feeling yeah just maybe things have stalled in your relationship maybe you've been beating yourself up over something the queen of pentacles is asking you to proceed with confidence and again she's we've got the it's interesting we've got two queens in this reading and there's two major arcana cards down here as well but none up here so it's i think you've been really caught up in day-to-day -day life group two and really just kind of the it seems like you've had a lot of conflict going on in your head but maybe not a lot of time to be just taking a breath and thinking about yourself, just kind of focusing on not thinking about any of these little day-to-day -day things at all and just looking at the, the bigger picture and trying to hear those messages from your angel and your higher self and what they're telling you right now. I think this group very much looks like it's been overthinking. And the Queen of Pentacles coming up is telling you to express your truth not to fear the consequences, to proceed with confidence. She's very calm, she's very content. And you'll notice she's looking down towards the pentacle. She's sitting here in the most beautiful of kingdoms, everything's thriving, but 
her focus isn't on what's going on around her. She knows that she's got that under control, but she's taking time to just look within and focus on what she has. But the devil coming up here, that showing that you are still potentially chained to something and maybe that means that if you're not able to release and to forgive and to learn whatever it is that you're chained to, it's something that's not healthy for you. It's the two lovers that are chained together to the devil and they could both get free of it at any point in time. If they wanted to unshackle themselves, they easily could and could walk away, but they're keeping themselves stuck there. So there is an element of keeping yourself stuck, of maybe not being able to see this blessing and what you actually have. Maybe not being able to just take that time out and being measured in what you do, but this card here is saying that you do have the strength to be able to release. It is within you. Everything you need to know and all of your power is within you and you do have the strength to be able to unshackle yourself and get free of the thing that is, is binding you in order to be able to have this kind of peace and to be able to look within. And I think again, the focus coming up after music and serenity as well. It's a time to just take some time out at this at this time and just to focus on yourself and what it is that you want and these things that are going on with work with a relationship this thing that you've been struggling with you have the strength to be able to pull back and to be able to release some of these fears to be able to release some of this pain to forgive yourself or to forgive someone else and again it's saying that this is a time for healing so now is definitely the time to be focusing on what you need to be doing for yourself on freeing yourself from the things that are toxic to you and in doing so this will give you the opportunity to be able to call in your soulmate and the things that are the best for you and what the universe has destined for you next because you won't be clogging up your path with these things here that you need to be releasing so yeah group two i think that Possibly you have, you've had some internal struggles, but things can ease. There's going to be some stuff still in the future that needs to still be released. This tells me that you will be working and moving toward it. If you can release these things and, and basically just take a chill pill, have a bit of a step back. You do have the strength to do it, but you do still have some things coming in the, the coming weeks, months, maybe over the, the course of the next 12 months that you will have to find a way to be able to unshackle yourself from but in doing so in taking this time for healing um the angels are wanting you to know that your prayers affirmations and vis visualizations help bring you together and again focus on the things that you want so i think that's your message group two is try to just take a chill pill spend some time releasing and healing in order to be able to unshackle yourself from anything that's toxic in your life and focus on being able to focus on calling in the things that you do want focus on letting go of the the negative releasing the bad focus on clearing your mind and your path for yourself to be able to call in the things that you do want okay group number three Uh, tree of life okay group number three what does the universe want for you to know right now what is the universe's message for you what's been going on for you in your recent past let's see Okay, group three, it looks like you've been 
possibly experiencing some struggles in the recent past. It looks as though you've been, again, working very hard and working consistently just sort of, I think I get the sense of this almost a bit of just plodding along one foot in front of the other, just trying to focus on getting through each day and possibly it feels as though there has been something that's been going in your, on in your life that has left you feeling a bit shut out. Maybe some bad choices have possibly caused you to struggle. You get a sense that you've been, you've worked hard and you've put, <clears throat> you've put some stuff away for yourself, but before you've been really able to enjoy that, something has maybe happened and caused you to have a bit of a loss and to feel as though you're a bit hard up at the moment, doing it a bit tough and that you don't really have the support in your life that maybe you possibly could use right now. Like you've been sort of literally kind of just shut out in the cold. Maybe you've recently experienced a, a breakup, group three, some sort of separation. Possibly you may have even recently have lost your job and that could be coronavirus related or that could just be that something has come to an end. Hmm. Maybe that thing hasn't been a bad thing. There's also angels are saying celebration. So maybe there had been some calls for some sort of celebration in your recent past here, group three. Moon cards asking you to show the world the real you. Ah, interesting. The romance card, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Hmm, yeah. Interesting group three. Wondering if there has been some sort of literally a separation which oftentimes can even be a cause for celebration. Um, can be a time obviously for a great upset, but I'm also wondering if this person that you've separated from has been making you feel shut out, making you feel as though, yeah, they're not there for you. They're closed off and getting away from them has possibly Maybe this person has actually stopped you from being able to show the world who the real you is. They've been stifling you <clears throat> and getting away from them might be something that you have been actually celebrating. And if you haven't, could be the angels asking you to take the time to celebrate it because it could be actually a cause for celebration. Often separations don't seem that way at the time, but it could be that, yeah, now is the time for you to come into your own, the Hierophant. Or the Hierophant, I'm never, I, I'm sorry for whoever I've just made, well, you're welcome for whoever I've just made crack up because I can never actually get that word right. Hierophant, I think, maybe Hierophant. Expanding, sharing in a knowledge, master in the making. Let your knowledge become part of your day-to-day, -day. become an expert. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I think group three, it looks like you've, you've been plodding along, but feeling like it's not really getting you anywhere. I think maybe the, the relationship that you were in or the job that you took, the I think this is doesn't really feel like it's about a, a friend. Could be a separation from a, a family member. Again, maybe it could be a separation from a friend. It feels more like it might be something that's romantic, but there's been a, a, a sense of plodding along and looking and just ref, reflecting on what you've been putting away. Maybe it's been difficult to come to 
the decision to separate because you know that in doing so that could potentially lead to this situation of losing everything here you see that the man's got what he has worked hard for and he's collected but over here the, both these people they're shut out and they don't have anything they're out in the cold they don't have a penny to their name you can see the coins are here in the window and they do not have a hand in that so maybe there's been some conflict within you group three that you don't want to let go because you know that that could taking that risk could bring about this but I think that you have you've done what you think was right for you you've trusted your gut you've obviously taken that leap to to have that separation and I think it's something that you've worked through I don't know that that's something that you are still necessarily struggling with now even if you're struggling with the financial potentially I think that you are celebrating this new time this opportunity to be able to show the world the real you so maybe you've gone through some rapid changes in the last 12 months maybe you're starting to feel like you are on your own again but you're, you're realizing that that is a good thing that's a positive thing and maybe you've been starting to revel in that recently rather than grieve that let's see what's in the present Yes, there's more celebrating going on. And the tower, interesting. And the seven of wands. Your angel message for the present is abundance. Hmm, your moon card message, a fiery climax approaches. There's definitely still some upheaval going on in the present. Interesting. And your romance card is let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Yeah, so group three, have you separated, had a divorce, had a breakup? Um, that's very much the sense I'm getting from this reading that there has been a separation and while it it's felt very much like a freeing time you might be feeling like you again I get the sense it was a stifling sort of relationship or it was something that had been really going nowhere for some time and you've freed yourself from it but there's still a lot of stuff going on in the present. Anyone who's ever been through a breakup or a separation of any sort of thing knows that even if it's something that you're grateful to have ended, it can still feel really difficult to be able to then process all of the different changes that will come with that ending. So this card here is saying that it is definitely a time of celebration at the moment. And it's a time, interestingly, it's a couple's card, so the separation could potentially not be literal it could be that there's been some sort of shakedown in your relationship that's felt as though it's been really make or break and maybe you haven't been letting your true self shine through maybe you've become just so bogged down with this feeling of having to keep working keep trying to put things away worrying about abundance and worrying about the loss of that that you have been disconnecting Maybe it's even a separation that you've been feeling within yourself from the things that are important to you and from the separation from who you really are and showing the world who you really are. But I sense that you've worked through some of that and you've separated yourself either from the person or the situation or the feelings that are causing that and that it is a time for you to celebrate right now. Maybe whatever is going on with the rest of the world, you within your own self are still personally celebrating your successes and celebrating this growth that you've experienced in the recent past and the tower here is showing that definitely whatever is happening over here it is going to cause a big shakedown of your life in the tower it looks quite scary again it's sort of like the devil card a lot of people freak out when they see this in a reading and certainly at the moment this feels very much what as though very representative of what's happening in the world 
it's like earthquake and huge storm and lightning and the foundations of all the things we know are coming apart at the seams, people are falling down everywhere. But while it looks scary, it really in the tarot just refers to a shakedown of things that weren't working before, things that were out of your control, circumstances that you didn't have any control over. And at this point in time, this card is saying that you are the catalyst for change in your own life, that you're able to actually make these choices. And again, that comes back to this separation here. So I believe that you've, group three, you've chosen now to take time apart from your partner or from what it is that's been weighing you down and you're celebrating that and in doing so, maybe you're actually actively taking steps to, to shake down your life and to overhaul the things that haven't been working. This card here shows a positive attitude, achieving your best, launching yourself. It's one, so it's fire, it's creativity, it's intuition, it's energy. And so I sense at this time, you are working really hard to make a lot of changes in your life and to bring about the things that you've been concerned about here. I sense that maybe you've let go of whatever it was that you were fearing and the fear might have been the fear of letting go itself, but it seems that you have actually worked through that. And this is saying that abundance is coming into your life at this point, whether it already has come into your life or if it's going to be starting to come into your life, it's the angels are asking you not to fear this being left without because abundance is here and a fiery climax is approaching. So whatever is going on at the moment, with this big life overhaul, all these big changes, all this big shakedown of everything that's happening, this possible loss of some of the wealth that you have gained, the angels are asking you to know that abundance is on its way to you and you don't have to fear losing everything and that this is starting to come to a climax. So hopefully this period of upheaval will be over soon. And this obviously speaks for itself. Let your friends help you. So whether that's physically helping if they're able to, or even just opening the door, just being able to actually, as it says, ask for and accept support from others. I think that can be the hardest thing to do. And especially if we are separating in a relationship or with work, even it can just be very, very difficult to let things go. And this could be a period of time where you do feel as though you're being shut out and you're alone, you're doing this on your own, but the angels want you to know that you do have friends, you do have support, so do rely on them at this time to help you get through this period. It looks like it's going to be quite turbulent in terms of what the future holds. I've got the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Wands. And we have the Queen of Cups. Now, angel card. Ah, very interesting group three. New beginnings. Moon card. <laughs> Step out of your comfort zone. And for your romance card, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Mm. Interesting. Okay, so what's coming for you, group three? I think, yeah, definitely this has been a time of, of a lot of emotional upheaval for you, and I think also upheaval in the, the physical realm, but that is going to start to calm down. I think this hard work that you're putting in at the moment the, the celebrating of the, the takedown of whatever it is in your life that hasn't been working for you and then putting in the hard work here to recreate what it is that you want for yourself in your own life. I think that that is going to bring about abundance and it's going to bring about new beginnings. But this here is saying that you will need to step out of your comfort zone and very much show the world the real you as you've been starting to do in order to do that. 
And I think that this time it's asking you to let your friends in to heal the, the family issues, to use this time of separation from whoever or whatever it is that you're separated from to be able to heal some of the things that have maybe even brought about these fears of being shut out here in the past and left out in the cold, left to fend for yourself, having to do it by yourself, not sort of being able to feel like you can rely on anyone. I think these cards here, the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, they're both sort of facing toward each other. So I think that there was still potentially either a conflict or a coming together of creativity and harnessing that in order to be able to provide and to be able to grow, grow your investments. I think this gentleman is very forward facing. You have the, I think this group, maybe group three, there's a lot about money in here as well and ideas. I think group three might be a group that's more of a careful kind of nature, not so impulsive, not so much about rushing in. A group that's wanting change in their life, but they're very methodical about the way that they're, they're working through things and also very focused and very measured about the way that they're looking at what they have and what they stand to lose, but also what they stand to gain. And I think the Knight of Wands is saying that this hard work here, this positive attitude, this putting one foot in front of the other and just working hard for the things that you want, they will pay off. And that now or in the future, it will be time to, <coughs> excuse me, to offer your services, to make good investments, to stand still, to not rush in, to take care, to focus on being able to grow your abundance, this abundance that's going to come in. And then also in this one, having some action, self-discovery. The time is right. I think good things are coming. Group three, I think you've been through some difficult times in this big shakeup, but I think both financially and mentally, I think that in the future, these will be the universe is telling you that you will have a lot of abundance, even having the Queen of Cups coming up here, the Queen of Emotions called to be a loving master of emotional integrity, integrity, struggle getting that one out, use empathy, be nurturing, generous, kind, loving and supportive and healing family issues. And it also says here that there's a fine line. So I think doing this work here, you're going to be able to start harnessing your emotions. I think this year for you, group three, what this, this angel card reading is saying is that you're going to be letting go of some things, letting go of the fear of being abandoned, letting go of the fear of being on your own and the fear of hardship. And that that will be bringing in new beginnings, letting go of some of this old stuff for you will very much be bringing about new beginnings and bringing about a situation where you do feel as though you are more in control of your own emotions, more in control of your own life, more able to celebrate, to enjoy your abundance and to be able to show the world who you are, show the world the real you. And you will do that by stepping out of your comfort zone. And so maybe it's not comfortable to let go of these issues. Maybe it's not comfortable to ask your friends for help. But I think that you're very much working on that here by embracing the upheaval of things that, or maybe you don't even know that the real upheaval is coming yet. Maybe that really hasn't hit and that's still something that's just to come. But I think that's something that you're experiencing now. I think you knew that the upheaval was coming and you were preparing for it. And now that it's happened, you're really trying to work through it and make the best of it. And to continue with that higher learning and that ability to be able to bring about the things that you want for yourself so that you are succeeding and thriving after this separation from whoever or whatever it is, you might have to step out of your comfort zone. And that could be, again, might be difficult 
You might be someone who struggles to ask for help or struggles to let go of the past and now the angels are calling for you to do that in order to be able to bring in new beginnings. So that's you, group three. Okay, group number five. The mother of pearl. Let's see what the universe wants you to know in your life right now. Okay. Actually, no, sorry, not group five, group four. I'm jumping ahead. This is group number four. Okay, so group four, what's been going on for you in your recent past? We've got the moon, the magician, oh, the ace of swords. Interesting. So group four, feel like what's been going on for you in your recent past is a lot of self-reflection and a lot of bringing in some really wonderful new things into your life. I'm wondering if last year or the last however many months has been a bit of a time of some great reflection and some great changes and some really positive things coming into your world. Let's see what your additional messages are here. Children. Maybe some of you have recently had a child or have a family member that's had a child or possibly even that you've been, if not spending time around children, maybe you've been feeling sort of a bit youthful and exuberant. Possibly you've even been feeling a little bit of a childlike wonderment for the world. Seems like good things have been happening for you in the recent past, group four. Yeah, interesting. Your moon card is Believe in the Impossible and it's the blue moon, which we all know obviously only happens very rarely, hence the expression. Hmm. But interestingly, your romance card is Unrequited Love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Well, that's very interesting that that's come up right after Believe in the Impossible. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one. The other stacks have been quite obvious in their romantic love card that has come up, but for this reading, it's a little bit confusing. Let me have a look. So you've been feeling a bit in the dark about some sort of situation, I think, recently. Group four, you've been having to maybe stand back and just sort of see how things unfold and possibly you've been having to there's something that you're you've not been sure about and the situation is sort of shrouded in darkness at the moment it's difficult to know at this point exactly where it is that you're going to end up but you've been called to just let it unfold naturally and to just listen to your own intuition focus on your gut and your gut instincts and to be able to travel forward, I guess, into the unknown and just kind of trust it and trust what your gut's telling you. But in doing so, again, the magician is asking you to trust your inspiration, to think outside of the, the box and to be able to basically conjure up for yourself, manifest for yourself what it is that you want because you have that power within yourself. So sort of just trust in your journey. So I get the sense that maybe group four, there's been a focusing inward on what it is that you want for yourself and possibly manifesting those things. The Ace of Swords is very much the cutting through communications, cutting through the, the, the nonsense and the external noise in order to be able to provide insight and clarity. And maybe that's something that you've actually even realized in your own self, this unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry. Maybe you've actually been dating someone and it has been quite new that they're, they're an unknown person and you're not sure what the relationship 
is going to bring, but I sense that you wanted more for yourself and that you've been able to stay focused and stay in tune with what it is that you're wanting for yourself and that you are focused on manifesting the things that you want in your life. I get the sense that you do believe that love is out there for you, but you also have a really clear picture of what it is. And maybe you do want a family. Maybe that's what you're focused on and you've possibly been dating someone that isn't all that interested in having a family. Maybe you already have a family and you've been with someone who you know isn't really giving you what it is that you need in your relationship. Maybe they're not giving enough back to the children. But I get the sense more that this is actually more about a, a potentially a new relationship that has been starting. But you know that you deserve more and you know that this relationship that is here is not the thing that is for you. Looking at what's going on for you in the present. We have the chariot. Have the six of cups. Hmm. And we have the ten of swords. What are your additional card saying? The angel card. Meditation. Interesting. Nothing will come of this situation. And your romantic card, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Hmm. Wow. Number four is kind of messing with me, actually. Yeah, so maybe I jumped the gun in saying that maybe you know that if there is a new relationship here or someone that you've been seeing, maybe I've jumped the gun in saying that you know that it isn't right for you. Maybe you do know, maybe you are actually holding out for more, but maybe you haven't actually let go of that yet. This is the chariot is very much about having two choices, deciding which direction to go in. It's a time for trusting your inner wisdom and knowing which direction to go in. We've got the light and the dark. And it's saying with the keywords, victory, opposing view, views, pulling in two different directions, control, willpower, success, action, determination, and outer life. Yeah, so I feel like Group four, you're struggling with a decision at the moment and maybe that's actually whether or not to let this person go because you do want more and you do know that there is more for you but maybe you're actually struggling with still believing that this person is for you, believing in the impossible when it just it isn't something that is going to work out in this life. I think that you might be chasing after something that this person Potentially if there is someone new in your life or someone that you have deep feelings for and would really like to make it work with. I think you're struggling potentially with whether or not to cut them loose knowing in yourself that you have the power to bring about the things that you want for yourself but potentially not with this person and then being re reinforced here again with nothing will come of this situation. So yeah, group four, I'm wondering if there is someone that you are giving yourself to but it is a, just a, a, a bit of a waste of time and this card here is asking you to be more powerful to direct the flow don't follow to look at what's repeating in your life and to find the motivation to change so to break out of these patterns to Maybe you're chasing the same sort of person over and over again and it's not bringing in anything good and it's actually leaving you feeling as though that you're against the wall, feeling a bit backstabbed, feeling like you have to prove yourself. You can see this guy is not having a good time. He's feeling quite literally very stabbed in the back. 
he's on his own and he's struggling so yeah group four I get the sense that you are working against someone at the moment you're being called to just take some time out from this situation and just actually meditate on the things that it that are important to you the, the power that you have within yourself the ability to communicate your own personal wisdom and insight and clarity and I feel that this card getting to know each other is actually saying well it's saying that as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens potentially that means that maybe there could be someone that you're not getting to know that you're blocking out because you're focusing on this unrequited love it could also mean that as you start to look at that person I guess without the love goggles on start meditating on the things that you really want and focusing on the feelings the the things that this person may be bringing up for you you will start to get to know them better and says here your bond deepens potentially that could strengthen things but that very much seems to go against what this card is saying so maybe this unrequited love could even be someone who does actually stay in your life as a friend but it's not someone that is going to be relationship material i wonder if this resonates at all group four interestingly the other readings have had relationship aspects to them but they tend to have shown a bit more about everyday life whereas i really get the sense with this group four has possibly been struggling with some sort of relationship or chasing after someone or yeah just trying to work out what it what is that they want at the moment and knowing that what they've got is not fulfilling them and not enough for them let's see what the future cards have to say wheel of fortune the sun it's always lovely to see the sun in a reading mm, celebrating friendship soulmate what do we have here ring card bring love into the situation ah very interesting double soulmate so there's no question for me group number four that you're what you're trying to manifest over here what you're working on it's definitely coming to you if you're dating at the moment if you're not in a committed relationship um, then very much the person that you're focusing on at this point in time it seems that they're not the person that's for you at the moment this isn't the person that you should be dedicating your energy to but I think that you already know this in yourself you know that you've got these choices and you're feeling like the choice that you're making is just bashing your head against a wall it's really not getting you anywhere and I think that you know deep down that if there is a person that you're and it could be again it could be a situation it could be um it doesn't necessarily have to be to do with your romantic situation it could also be in terms of work you could have been in a workplace or in a job that you feel that it just isn't getting you anywhere you know that you've got powers and abilities you've got great ideas but you need to be able to make a decision maybe you need to decide whether or not to even go out on your own especially at this time with everything that's going on in the world a lot of small businesses are dying off and then a lot of new businesses are definitely starting up so it might be that there is this situation in your life that you know isn't working and you know that you have the power to change but until you take a bit of a step back and let go of this thing that you have been working toward at least this thing this person and kind of spend a bit of time getting to know each other and possibly this means that there's someone new coming in I think these three might refer to someone or something going out and I think that what's happening right now is potentially there is someone that's on the scene that you should be spending a bit of time getting to know in doing so these are all here you've got one two three four five major arcana cards 
in your reading group number four so there's definitely a lot of big life changes and and a lot of life lessons that are being learned you've you've spent last year I think turning some real corners in your life and then again right now you're coming to another crossroads and an opportunity to change and to to make some different decisions for yourself to make some choices about which direction you want to go in and the wheel of fortune is asking you in the future to not resist change to go with the flow to know that this is what the world does it, it turns that everything turns in a full circle and everything happens in divine timing and now is a time very much it says here of social changes of spiritual awakenings and the sun coming up is a great card because the sun basically is telling you the right place the right time let your light shine be confident in yourself trust in yourself be authentic and focus on the positive so good things are definitely coming in if you have been struggling group number four with someone that maybe you feel isn't returning your feelings or something that you're pouring your energy into that you can see you're sort of getting nowhere with i think now is the time to let that go and to know that in doing so you actually will be bringing in your soulmate to see the soulmate card come up twice in the same reading it's definitely the angels are giving you a double whammy of letting you know that what it is that you want or who it is that you want they are definitely out there for you but you need to spend some time giving yourself the love that you're looking for from others maybe getting to know someone as i said that might already be on the scene that person could potentially already be there and you're not aware of it but certainly these soulmate cards and bringing love into the situation this card here is asking you to celebrate friendships celebrate loved ones call on them for support stay in the moment celebrating teamwork so you know, I get the sense that maybe there even is a friend or someone that already loves and supports you that might already be your soulmate that is on the scene and if not possibly you might find that person through friends but I think you already know very much group four that you have the power to manifest the situation that you want for yourself you know what it is that you would like from your life and you're not getting that potentially from what it is that you're doing or who it is that you're seeing at this point in time but if you are to continue the, with the growth that you're having and being prepared to walk a little bit in the unknown and to make the right choices for yourself and to go with the flow and not fight against it not try to hold on to things that aren't working for you letting go bringing love into the situation and that might be love for yourself that might be love for life it might be love for spending time with your friends but in doing so that is actually going to bring your soulmate into your life that person that comes in they are someone who is meant to be here and they are meant to stay so i hope that resonates group four i'm interested to know if you took something from that that was a bit confusing to start with but that's the overall sense i'm getting don't let go of what it is that you know that you want for yourself you've got a clear picture of what you want you've got a clear picture of what is causing you harm and to release that stuff willingly because yeah that's a really really positive outcome for your group four certainly there looks to be good things on the horizon okay and last but certainly not least group five that was the the rose let's see group five what the universe wants you to know right now what message does the universe have for you at this time just have a look at what you've been doing in your recent past hmm hangman death king of swords okay group five i wonder if you've been feeling a bit like something in your life has been a bit shaken up in the recent past something that has been possibly quite familiar to you whether it's a relationship a work situation your life situation you've recently been called to look at things from a different point of view 
to just for whatever reason to have to let go of a lot of things and to have to really just surrender to life to just taking a back seat and looking at things very differently for, for whatever reason whatever you were doing before it isn't working now and so you've had no choice but to take a bit of a step back and to look at things from a new perspective some of the key words are starting over reflecting consequences moving on surrendering learning from mistakes having gratitude crossroads and wiping the slate clean so yeah i feel like there's been a big shift in your life and definitely a death of something life as you know it has changed something as to whether it's a relationship has broken up maybe you've lost a job or lost a business maybe you've changed careers maybe you've experienced ill health or an injury something that <clears throat> has caused your situation to change and for you to have to just really stop and reflect and look at life from a different perspective your group five i sense that you've had a lot of upheaval in recent months there's been a lot that's been happening and a lot of falling away of things and then the king of swords is asking you to walk away from your assumptions employ patient thinking listen to your intuition ask lots of questions of the world yeah since there's been a big slowing and a big falling away of things for you group number five has been a lot of upheaval and possibly a time of just having to, to stop and take a big step back I feel that there's been some things going on that you haven't had control over and you've known that and you've you've felt that sense that you haven't had control you've just got to stand by and just see how things unfold maybe you've been trying to look at life a bit differently might not even be necessarily things that are very obvious in your life maybe it's your way of thinking that has fallen away maybe you've been growing and changing in yourself and you've been starting to look at things from a different point of view not just trusting your everyday assumptions employing a bit more patience in your life instead of just racing in but yeah certainly there has been some sort of upheaval and a death of a situation hmm interesting the angels have been giving you signs and maybe you've been noticing them because you have been looking at life a bit differently and trusting a bit more in your inner wisdom moon card looking at the bigger picture yeah i sense that group five has had a big shift in their life and you've had to just really take a step back maybe you are going through your own spiritual awakening at the moment maybe life as you know it and as you'd always taken for granted for it to be has suddenly been stripped away from you and you've had to start looking at the bigger picture and focusing on things a bit differently the love card here is pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you so you have the angels here telling you that they're giving you signs Got the moon asking you to look at the big picture bigger picture and we have the romance angels asking you to pay attention to the red flags so this could be the ending again maybe of a relationship could be the ending of a work situation but you have been you've been seeing some things that aren't necessarily sitting comfortably with you and maybe those things have caused you to look at things a bit differently maybe this is what you've been doing looking at the world differently and paying attention to the red flags looking at the bigger picture and seeing that the death of a situation can actually bring about good things we've been employing patience i think this is a situation where you haven't been able to rush in you haven't been able to dive in with action to fix things you've had to 
take a step back and just do a lot of reflecting and look at doing things a different way. Let's see what's going on for you in the present. Yes, there's been a retreat, a sense of looking within, starting to withdraw from the world. If you've been a bit of a hermit, group five, if you've been for whatever reason has life forced you into self-reflection mode. I've got the page of swords cutting through some of the crap. Hmm. Yeah, I think group five, you've been doing a lot of inner work. And I think what's going on for you, let's see with your angel cards, blessings. You are good enough. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Yeah, it seems that the universe is asking you to pay attention to the bigger picture, but to do that inwardly. A little bit on the sidelines, just to be paying attention to what's going on within your own self. Keep an eye on what's happening. There might be someone or something that is telling you there's a situation that isn't necessarily right. The hanged man asked you to, to pay attention to your mistakes and to learn from them and is bringing about consequences as well. So maybe you're experiencing some consequences at this time from not paying attention to the red flags of a situation. Maybe you've been a bit burned and that situation has come to an end there's been a death of something but in that death I'm very much seeing that there is the opportunity to start learning and growing I think currently you're making changes you're moving forward you're making the changes that are required to be able to do things differently like what you've been doing over here reflecting on how you can do things differently I think you're having new ideas. The, the Page of Swords is about youth and energy. I feel like maybe for you, Group 5, the last few months or the last year has been a time of a lot of spiritual growth, but maybe a time of a lot of stillness, and it's still continuing now. You might be one of the groups of people, similarly to my own self, that is feeling like this halt in the world at the moment isn't so much a giant change to the life that you are already living, but it's actually more a feeling of the West, the rest of the world is actually catching up. Um, because you're currently looking within, you're currently taking that time out away from people. You are focusing on your inner wisdom. And I think that that is leading to a time of emotional change here. It says here this Knight of Cups, it's the final step of a long journey of contemplation, of applying yourself, of truly jumping in with both feet, of being present, of being humble, and interestingly, of looking at the world with new eyes, which is what the hangman is calling you to do. So yeah, I think that you've, you've had a period of stepping back and what you've known to be true even if it's the attention, pay attention to the red flags, things in your own life. Again, it doesn't have to necessarily be about a romantic partner. There might be a lot of things in your own life that really haven't been working for you and they've been causing you damage and they've created some sort of consequences. They've created the death of something in your life and that wherever there's death, there's always new things that can be reborn. So this, this situation has caused you to have to shed a lot of the old and make way for the new. And I feel like you haven't had a lot of control over this. The universe has been bringing this in really the, the new whether you like it or not and so you haven't had a lot of choice but to withdraw and to be introspective but the good news about that is that you are starting to come to the final steps of quite an emotional journey and that blessings are definitely on their way so pay attention to the signs and the moon card is saying to you that you're good enough, you're worthy of blessings. So group five if you've been questioning yourself, if you've maybe been beating yourself up over mistakes that you've made, if you've been feeling very isolated with your own thoughts, do know that the universe is saying to you that you are on the right track, keep doing what you're doing. You've been making the changes that are required and new things are starting to come in. There will be blessings and you are good enough to receive them. 
and letting go of your control issues. The universe is asking you to let go. And I think this, this whole reading, there's been death is a letting go. The hanged man asks you to let go of looking at things the way that you would usually look at things. Clarifying your motives, keeping on knowing what you're moving forward towards, but letting go of trying to keep control. I think maybe this has been a big year for group number five in letting go of control. Maybe life has forced you to let go of control. Like I said, maybe there's been something that's happened that you haven't had control over the loss of a job or a loved one, the loss of something in life as you know it. I think you need to not fear what you have lost at this point in time because there are new blessings coming in. What has fallen away is allowing for new things to come in. Let's see what's going on in the future. Ace of Wands. Lots of new ideas. Lots of new energy and action being handed to you. Hmm. It's not all smooth sailing for you, Group 5. There's going to be some testing times ahead, potentially. But certainly you are getting there. So what have we got? We've got the Ace of Wands. We've got the Eight of Swords. We've got the Nine of Cups. And it's really interesting, too, actually, because I'm noticing there is a lot of Sword energy and a lot of Cup energy in here. So a lot of emotions and a lot of thoughts. This is very much, I think, Group 5 has been spending their time probably not feeling this period of isolation isolation so much because I think that Group 5 has potentially already been experiencing some of this withdrawing from the world as they know it over previous months leading up to this. And I think that there is still that sense of you are coming up to the final steps of this long journey of introspection and you'll be starting to feel encouraged, starting to feel more energy, starting to feel as though things are starting to shift and to change and some of your goals, some of the things that you've been spending all of this time working on is starting to come into fruition. But I think that there is going to be some more trying times ahead and that you will be tested on some of these life lessons that you've been bringing about for yourself. But also, as you can see from this, this lady's feeling frightened, she's not able to see, she's tied, she's got swords all around her, so one misstep could potentially bring her down, but if you look really carefully, she's actually not that tightly bound, she would be able to free herself of the, the binds and the blindfold if she chose to. So I think this one's saying that you will be tested and you will, this knowledge that you have gained about yourself, these new ways that you've had to find to look at life, you might feel as though you start to go backwards a little bit and maybe you are trapped and that maybe all of this has been for nothing, but it's asking you to very much look within yourself and to know that the freedom is available, that you just need to look within, that I think whatever you've been experiencing in this recent time, like I said, it's been a very big upheaval and you've been needing to pay attention to some things that maybe aren't working in your own life, things that you've been controlling that aren't for your best interests, but and you'll be challenged with that again, I think, in the near future. That lesson, right, possibly when you think that you've learned the lesson, and oftentimes when you do let go of control, that's when the universe decides to hand you the same lesson back again to see if you have really learned it. But definitely you have. You are able to move into this card here, which is all about attracting support, finally being where you hoped and dreamed to be. Intuition, knowing that you will be able to bring all of those cups flowing full of emotion and love and happiness. This man is full of abundance, surrounded by emotion, looking very prosperous. So I think there will be a challenge coming up um, that will test a lot of this, this self-work that you have done, but knowing that actually you are on the right track and that you are only being tested here in the near future. It's not It's not another end. It's the beginning of new things coming in. Let's see what the final cards have to say. Playfulness. It's 
time to take action. Ah, interesting. And free yourself. It's time to take back control over your life. Wow. Okay, number five. And it's interesting that this has come up too. So I get the sense that you've, as I said, you've had your time for reflection. You've been withdrawn. This time now is possibly not as jarring for you as it is for a lot of people because you've been having to look at the world completely differently. I think whatever your world was, even prior to coronavirus and everything that's happening, I think that your world had already been completely shaken up. You were having to look at the world very differently. And I think that you are still potentially struggling with realizing the power that you have. But it's still a time for introspection. It's still a time for now sharpening your sword, clarifying what it is you want for yourself knowing that you are manifesting more for yourself emotionally at this point in time, that you are manifesting blessings, that you're good enough to receive these blessings and that you need to just allow what is going on now to, or keep allowing, because it feels like you already have been allowing things to unfold naturally because you haven't been able to do it any other way. But coming up in your future, although you will still be tested, it is now a time to let go of some of this heaviness and to just enjoy the more playful side of life and to emerge a little bit from this retreat that you've been in in order to take action and to be able to take control back of your life even though your life at this point may look so completely different from whatever it was and you've had to look at things differently you've had to explore different ways of doing things i think that the universe's message is that there will still be testing times ahead and some repeats of old patterns, but you are able to free yourself from that. And the way to do that is to start to take control back by starting to enjoy the smaller things, by enjoying the blessings, by letting go of the control, just actually having a bit of fun with things at the moment. I think you've been doing a lot of work, Group 5, and you've been doing a lot of growing and coming into your future once you've started to consolidate some of that work it's time to put it into action and it's also time to just have a little bit of fun again so i hope that that resonates i hope that um whichever reading you chose that there was something in there for you that was helpful um if you do have any feedback for me i'd be really keen to hear it um i appreciate you bearing with me this is my very first video doing this sort of style reading so it's been a little bit nerve-wracking but i've been having a lot of fun um, just yeah, trying to get these messages out for these individual groups. So hopefully you've been able to take something from it. Okay, thank you. Bye.